Um, our first speaker is a facade specialist and quality director at Enar Architectural Envelopes, SLP. He has a broad professional experience uh, working with relevant developed facade projects for singular buildings in Spain, as well as participates as a professor in a Master of Facades at FTES. He's going to present on a very uh, unique, lightweight glass can canopy. Please welcome uh, Mateo Marcos. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for your presentation, Bob. Uh, when I was a child, I loved a magic uh, sauce, the tricks, the illusions. They amazed me. I wanted to be a magician uh, showman and make things disappear. But as I grew older, I realized that there were secrets behind the magic. The charm was lot. Uh, and I changed my focus to the architecture instead. But something remains of that. Today, I'm telling you a trick of magic and architecture. Today, um, uh, about how a multidisciplinary team made a huge canopy disappear. Um, uh, this street, this trick treat about a structural glass canopy designed by Enar uh, um, uh, Architectural Envelopes, uh, my company, that we are located in Madrid, uh, together with CB Richard Ellis, uh, architects for an office in Madrid. Um, the canopy is a part of the order to renovate the facades of Serrano 88, a street in Madrid. The street is one of the prime rental area in the city center uh, of the city. Uh, the facade was made of a parapet of stone cladding combined with, with glazed windows. The renovated window uh, building will host almost 5,600 5, uh, square meters of rental office uh, spaces and 700 square meters of commercial spaces and three terraces. The new facade is fully of glass, and uh, and the architect, sorry, please. Uh, the new facade is fully of glass, and the architect's idea is to lighten the vision of the ground and first levels. Over the ground plan of the former of previous uh, main facade, there was a large and heavy canopy. This canopy and the surrounding trees darkened the entrance of the building. The main idea of the architect is to change this heavy canopy uh, by a lighter one. This canopy will, will, will allow to see the ground floor and the first floor facade continuously. Then the perception of the building seems to be more vertical than before. In February 20. 2019, we began the schematic design of the facade and canopy. The previous canopy was built below of the slab of the first level. Its dimensions were 2.5 meters cantilever by 1.3 meters height. The new lightweight canopy will be designed with the same dimensions because Torimbia Properties wanted to maintain the protection over the pedestrian by using the, vol the previous volume. The survey of the existing canopy saw some metal structure composed by a grid of steel in the building. The grid is made of cantilever steel beams supported by an horizontal uh, beam that is fixed to the columns of the facade. These cantilever beams shouldn't be viewed in the new design, but as the new canopy must be strongly supported to be maintain, main structure, the architects will their structural uh, engineering adventure mechanism decided to cut these beams and used to make them support to bending moments caused by the canopy. The edge of the slab must be reinforced with a steel plate 
and, the, uh, and furthermore, the interior view of the first level must be clear and directly connected to the street viewers. The glass of the facade of the ground floor and the glass of the first floor uh, have been enlarged to be approached to the canopy. The level of the glass floor is elevated at the same level of the first floor, and one parapet is put in the edge to support, to support horizontal efforts from the users of the canopy. However, the current license of use are only allows to, to, step, to step on this canopy to the maintenance services. Uh, anyway, the architect of the property requires this canopy to, to resist life loads of 500 kilograms per uh, square meter. The parapet is put, is put in, the, in a lower position to cover the edge of the glass beams. This parapet has to maintain uh, the height of the previous heavy parapet. For this reason, it's necessary to put a handrail 1.10 meters uh, from the glass floor. Finally, the canopy is located 5.6 meters mid, uh, from the ground level. Besides, the lower vertical facade will be reinforced with glass cantilever fins to reach the height required. In, pl in the plan, the distribution of the walls of the old offices were the same or as the wall between old windows. The, the elements of composition of the old heavy canopy had no direct re relation to the access of the facade. The new open uh, space concept of the new office fac distribution will not relate to the facade composition access, but the facade composition is related to the cantilever beams of the canopy. In order to design the light structure, NR takes other glass similar structure as reference. For a long time, the glass has been used as a structural glass in the construction of canopies. This picture makes reference to, the, to a very big cantilever canopy in Japan, where the glass is assembled to get a longer length and curve shape. Another glass canopy more recent is this, on this located in London, uh, where the, here, here the cantilever beams uh, are strongly fixed to several boxes on, of a steel, a stainless steel, and the distance between beams are almost three meters. In our office, in, even in NR, uh, we designed several structural glass pieces to be considered as a reference for this canopy. The first one, was a skylight in Canalejas Hotel in the center of Madrid. Its millions of triple, triple laminated glass, glass beams are six meter length. They have a trapezoidal shape and are supported by the two sides. The other build reference developed by NR together with Callison RTKL is the skylight of the entrance of Tower Our Europe. This time NR developed 12 meters glass, meet, glass beams to support the uh, roof panels. There is a canopy on the north face of the building, of the, of the sky, of this uh, skylight, uh, that is made as glass as well, uh, as well. In this case, the glass beams are not fixed on the ends. The two ends of the, of the glass beams are forming a cantilever. The glass the glass pane is forming a cantilever as well. Taking into account this and another reference, we are searching for several options to solve the structure of the canopy and our, of our building considered the, the Siberi architecture's design. The rice case option was based on using a structural parapet. Two heavy loaded cantilever uh, support the this parapet on the ends, but it was chillers to be built in one piece, and the glass floor should be su supported on their two sides. The second option we based in disposition, disposing one cantilever in each column of the building to reduce the span of the external bid, but the image from the street seems irregular. The next option 
was they distribute the weight, the width into regular equal parts of three meters length to put the cantilevers below the glass floor, but height uh, of the of this element was too high. The final option, two cantilevers, were put between the cantilevers of the previous option. Its parapet is not used as a support for a glass floor. The variable loads were distributed and applied on the calculation model according to this structural option. In the first pre-calculation, it was taken into account that the weight of the dead loads was 20% of the variable loads. After the final calculation, there are the final dead loads uh, of each element. Uh, respect developed of the details. In the next carpet, I will talk about the design of the joints collected in the drawings for the construction documents to, to hire. The cantilever glass beams were composed by six glass panes of 10 millimeters fully, uh, fully tempered of uh, low iron glass. The genomeric interlayers were used as uh, structural layers for lamination. The glass floor was defined as six millimeter fully tempered plus two plies of 10 millimeters heat strengthened. All these glass panes are supported over stainless steel plates bonded of the glass beams. The glass balusters are fixed with bolts to the edge of the cantilevers. The, para the glass parapets are holded with stainless steel brackets to the lower ends of the glass balusters, and its rotation brackets at the top of the, of the handrail. Uh, among other reasons, the glass of the parapet is heat straightened to avoid the typical distortion of the fully uh, tempered process. Finally, two horizontal laminated glazes are installed in the, at the top and at the bottom of the balusters. The glasses of the bottom are used to cover the holes between the cantilever glass beams and the parapets. This is the final composition. And now I will comment how is the attachment to the building. These boxes are of stainless steel and beefed the glass beams. Its design allows to regulation of the positions of the beams in respect to the tolerance of the main structure. These elements transmit the reactions to the, of the canopy towards the reinforced edge of the slab and the steel beams below. Then the waterproofing and the thermal and acoustic insulation was, was made. And finally, the catcher with its grid and cladding were installed. Structural glazes uh, horizontal installed were is designed to achieve the lateral st stiffness of the canopy. However, during the construction stage, this system was changed by metal cage uh, that, occup that occupied the first and the last modules. Uh, these are several drawings of this project where this canopy was defined for higher and more details that they are related to protect, project uh, description and their measurement for cost. Uh, on December 2020, began the installation of the canopy by Ferga, the construct, the, uh, that was cons the constructor, engineering, manufacturing, and installation, using made uh, by the processor Tevitec. Now I'm going to explain some relevant things about the installation. Uh, the glass was embedded with a structural bond in the stainless steel boxes of workshop. On workshop, the bolt use, used for the retention was wrapped with a nylon cap. The bracket of the edge was welded with the uh, to the upper plate. All the edge of each pane of glass were manufactured with glossy finish before its lamination. And the anti-slip treatment is enameled uh, on the upper glass of the glass floor. 
This treatment is class two test by uh, Tevitek. The horizontal glass plate was structural bonded with neutral current silicon uh, sealant. And the elements of rotation of the parapet were made of stainless steel plates with the highest quality and the, an abrasive treatment. The glass of parapets was fixed to two load brackets and five horizontal holdings using EPDM gaskets and polyethylene blocks. Conclusions. After finishing the project of renovation with the structural glass, we can obtain the following co co uh, conclusions. The genoplastic interlayers and redundant element were the system used to achieve the, the post-breakage post stability. The technical design stage documentation of the canopy contained sufficient uh, defini definition enough to be put out to tender and for actual con contracting within the initial estimated cost for the project. The easy maintenance drain system keeps the image of the canopy in, a, in concordance with the place where it is located and a high transparency of the element has been achieved as at initially embedded. To summarize, the design objective has been successfully achieved. 25 per 2.55 millimeter, uh, meters canopy disappears. Today, after starting this experience of construction, the glass canopy, I see a different kind of magic. The teamwork, the collaboration, attention to detail. It's like the magic of building something extraordinary. We are all creators of wonders. Let's celebrate the magic within, within us and continue shaping the, the world with beauty and inspiration. Thank you to, the, to GPD organization and all of you for your attention.